Hi, I'm Corey Gunderson, Managing Director and Global Financial Services Practice Leader at Pertivity. I'm also a trustee at the Museum of American Finance, and I'm pleased to have with me here today the President and CEO of Pertivity, Joe Tarantino. Welcome, Joe. Thanks, Corey. Happy to be here. Joe, we're going to talk about why Wall Street matters today. And maybe as a first question, I'd like to ask you, as a native New Yorker, what are some of your first recollections of Wall Street? You know, Corey, I, I grew up in um, southeastern Queens in a middle class neighborhood and went to school there. And I guess I really didn't get my first visit to Wall Street uh, until I went on a field trip uh, in, in high school. And we got to visit the New York Stock Exchange. And I guess I was amazed just by the level of activity and, and all of the involvement that was taking place on, on the trading floor and trying to figure out what everybody was doing at the time because I really didn't fully understand sure. the exchange. Um, but early on in my career, I really didn't have a full appreciation for, for what was taking place uh, down on Wall Street. Um, certainly over time as, as I began to work in business and graduated and started mm -hmm. to working in the financial community, I developed a better appreciation for it. Joe, what do you consider Wall Street's most important legacy and impact to society? Um, you know, I, I think it evolved into uh, building a legacy of providing um, access to capital for new and emerging companies. Uh, for providing stability and, and proper governance mm -hmm. in the financial community. And at the end of the day, what that, what that means is that it provides the confidence for organizations to operate in a, in a very robust marketplace uh, with a level of, of oversight, security, and liquidity, which allows the capital markets to operate at their full capacity. And I certainly think of Wall Street as bringing order to the chaos of matching capital consumers with capital providers and, and really fueling a growth engine of the economy here in America. Absolutely. And, you know, I think, you know, it's the combination of, of the activities and, and all of the, the constituents that are involved in the capital markets alongside with the regulatory environment and many of the regulators you know, working in tandem with the investment banks, the banks, and, and the other facilitators uh, on the exchanges and, and the financial institutions that, that really comprise uh, the Wall Street uh, activities. Absolutely. How do you see Wall Street evolving in the future as you look forward? Sure. Um, you know, I talked a little bit about my earlier recollections of, of Wall Street and to me at the time Wall Street was a place. It was a location in Manhattan. It's probably New York centric but in, in any event um, most of the, the investment banks, the large banks, the regulatory agencies were, were headquartered there. I think as we look forward it's more about the the, um, the entity as a, a service provider to the markets and with the expansion into the global environment and with the way that technology is changing mm -hmm. it's not as much about the proximity of where the institutions are to each other as it is on how they interact with each other mm -hmm. technologically, geographically, um, so that they're working seamlessly with a lot of the different technologies that are that are being developed. I mean, when you look uh, on the floor of the exchange, you don't see people anymore, right? right? right. You're 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 dealing with a totally different environment where transactions are taking place in New Jersey, in Middle America, in in other parts of the world, mm -hmm. because there isn't the need to process documents the way they were back, you know, 50 years ago or, right. or, or longer. So I think the, the access to capital at a global level uh, is, is probably the area that, that will continue to evolve over time. We are connected to each other around the world, you know, 
financial markets and, and business in general. Sure. And so um, Wall Street can, will continue to play an important role in making sure that that stability continues to play an important factor in ensuring that we don't have chaos right. in the markets around the world and provide a level of assurance to, to corporations and to investors so that you know they continue to feel that cross-border that they can make investments without the concern of, of losing everything or, sure. or, or the volatility that might exist. You know, it's interesting as you talked about the concept versus the physical location, it's a lot like what we see in the world going from brick and mortar to virtual in some respects. And we like to tell our clients that we help them face their future with confidence. And in many respects, I think Wall Street helps companies go into the future with confidence through that access to capital and helping them grow. Absolutely. And, you know, just by the, the number of years that, uh, that it's been operating effectively, uh, certainly we can look to the past in terms of the success that it's had, um, but also even with, with all of the change that's evolving in the marketplace, um, there needs to be confidence, especially now with the globalization of the markets. Uh, that, I think, becomes a lot more critical. Absolutely. If we were sitting in these chairs 20 years from now, I'm sure we would see uh, a big change mm -hmm. in the way that the operations are taking place. But I think the principle and, and the role of the financial markets as we know them today will continue to be an important factor in maintaining that stability around the world. I agree. The, the concept may change but the function still is needed and remains as, as important today as ever. Absolutely. Well, Joe, thank you for being here with us today to talk about why Wall Street matters. Uh, it's an exciting time in the world as we look at all the changes that are occurring and we think of the history of Wall Street and how it's evolved and the future and how it will continue to evolve and play an important role in the flow of capital and the matching of consumers and providers of capital around the world. I uh, encourage everybody to visit the Museum of American Finance and review that history and see what new and exciting things are happening in the future as things continue to move forward. Thank you for being with us today.